All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 17 for today. In the last episode, we began our placement matches once again. We're on to season 10, so of course we had to revert our rank, but we're sitting at 1541, which is actually the starter rank for all SSLs after they got deranked into Grand Champion 1. So we're already in Grand Champion 1. We're actually moving up quite nicely here. But of course, before we jump into the next episode, we have to do the meme of the day, and we have Dib's suggestion of manual which is Daniel looking like a man. Uh, I'm going to do my best, but I'm not sure this is going to work out. All right, so we have a pretty well-trimmed man here, and we have Daniel. Uh, so we got to combine these two somehow. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do that. I might have to have to, like, you know, take Daniel's whole face, except for maybe the beard? Leave the beard? Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, so first off, I can already tell we have the light coming from the other way, so I'm going to have to flip this guy around. That's decent. It's better, but he's still very dark. All right, that's a bit better. Now, do I want to keep his mouth? I don't know if I'm going to keep his mouth. We'll see. We'll see. I'll keep that separate and we can work with it. Like, I think no, because of the fact that he's got like more of a frowny, serious face. This is not going to work. This is looking a bit cursed right now, but don't worry. It'll get there. Dude, this isn't going to work, man. This is not going to work. What I might do is try to repeat this a little bit. Flip this around and sort of try to add a bit of hair on this side and blend it in i'll put this behind the other layer of beard let's let's hide this back layer for now oh my god what is going on yeah okay that's pretty good and then i'll just erase this a little bit to blend it in this is tough <laughs> ford tough uh it's sort of doing the trick still don't quite like the, the chiseled look here Gotta erase that a little bit be clean up the edge here and then i think what i want to do is take all of the beard and i just need to like shift the coloring a little bit honestly not bad not bad let's bring the original photo back honestly that went a little better than i expected here is manual hope you guys enjoy this one let's get into the episode all right so we're about a week into the uh season here so we're gonna get, be getting players that have probably moved up quite a bit with their ranks but we're still gonna get like some pretty good players here so i'm gonna try and stop the ball in middle here ballistics is going for the the shot gets a pretty good dribble set up i'm gonna wait on the side here i'm not gonna say that guy's name because it might actually get demonetized <laughs> You know, classic YouTube things. I'm gonna wait in mid here. Not the best touch from Ballistics, so I'm just gonna let uh, the other player um, come in for the attack. But I made a quick recovery there to flip in mid, see if Ballistics go for this decent play. And I can go back corner boost here, because uh, this guy might throw it out. Now it's not on target. I might go for a bump, which is smart. I could have boomed that over instead, and I probably could have avoided the bump as well. Let's see if my teammate goes for this. The second that teammate, my teammate misses, I just go for the immediate clear. It's gonna put one of them under pressure. And this mid boost should hopefully spawn in a second. Okay, it doesn't, but that's okay because it's pushing up and you can see there's nobody there for this ball. So I can just boom it out the backboard. Wait for them to see if they can get a read here. They got a decent read and they actually followed up pretty well. I'm just gonna move out mid here just in case the pass comes through. It does, I can read this fast. That way it rolls out the wall, but this guy is ready for it really quickly. See if my teammate gets it. Nice try, but they're not really there for that anyway. They go for a immediate attack. Now this guy is trying to turn on this ball, but since I bumped him, he can't get in. I'm watching for him the second that he's turning into this. This is off the backboard or towards the net. So I'm just going to put this safely into the corner. And then try to attack this guy as soon as possible. And the way that I'm attacking there is not putting my, myself uh, in too much pressure. I kind of cut my teammate off there just in case he got bumped though. Um, it's not like the scariest thing in the world. But if he bumped them there and the other guy was ready before I was able to support him, it would have been a goal. So not the worst decision in the world to attack that. Now I see Zeritz is going for a touch to cross. I cut this off early. And then try to get this co corner boost. My only goal is to get the corner boost after that play. I'll let, let, let him panic there. One guy flew by. Good attack from them, but it's going to push back into midfield here. That cuts off early. It's going to boom it upfield. Could have dribbled that, maybe. My teammates go up for the bump or something. This guy's going for it. It's totally fine. Like, see how I'm not really fully committing? Oh, he tried to go for the bump there. To my teammate to follow up, though. You see that they're already ready for that next touch, so I don't really want to fully commit uh, on the uh, the play. There we go. I can push into that so that way I can get the boost. I'm going to try and demo that guy too. Maybe a pop over? Okay, he actually faked it. Oh, it's a bit awkward. It's not on target. This guy might redirect it, though. He missed. Now I'm going to try and do is pop this left side here for my teammate to go get a quick clear, but he gets cut off, and unfortunately, it's going to be a goal. So he has to be faster than that if he's going to go for it. Uh, if he notices he's going to get beat, he has to back off as soon as possible. It's a bit of a slow start here. I'll pop this off the sidewall. I'd end up missing the mid boost, but this guy is probably going to pass it back to me. Is it clearing it? 
I'm going to stay close to this. As both of them. It's going to go off the corner. So my teammate hopefully is ready for this. Could be a good chance. and Great finish there. So the way that I'm uh, pushing that ball to the left side or the right side here is to be able to follow it up in a way that uh, it doesn't push too far away from off my car. So I'm going some, for some sort of touch where it gives me space to at least get a 50-50 with the other guy. I'm going to pop this immediately across the field here because they're going to be watching on the side of the field. And you see that I'm popping this in a, in a good spot. They do attack it, but there's no uh, no worries here. And I'm glad that my teammate also recognized that, that there's space to catch that. I can beat this guy if I just go fast off the, off the sidewall. And maybe I'll just go for a boom across the field. See what they do. So they get a touch off the backboard. It's a good try for my teammate. It's going to get beat though. And it actually goes into a good spot. Now I can catch this if I want. Or I'll just boom it towards them and do nothing with it. <laughs> I definitely could have caught that though. Decent 50. Not for this. That should be just a finish. As long as I get a nice soft touch with my wheels. So really good pass for my teammate. Really get cut off from uh from the last player there. But there are the opponents are actually quite a low rank compared to uh compared to us. Uh he's got 1535, never mind. I, I didn't notice that guy. I thought it was 1395. Oh my gosh. I'm wait for my teammate here. He just spawned. Probably be a pass across. I'll wait for the mid pass, maybe. That's a really good try on the play. I'm just trying to read it in case they went for it. Maybe a boom forward. Hit it towards target. It's probably going to be saved, but no problem. Because it, it bounced off the backboard into a, a spot where my teammate can follow it. That was a decent try to like maybe make a pass there. But uh, I'm going to wait for this to get... Oh, went for the boost. That's okay. So my teammate took the boost that I was trying to wait for. Good play. There's a cross. There's nobody there. I know that because the other guy was like really close to the net. Like, I want to catch this close. That way they... Force, force themselves into the 50-50. And then I, to pass this, I could go up a little bit earlier than that and go for the immediate pop. You can see that if I delay uh, delay or hesitate at all, they're going to just uh, attack that immediately. This could be dangerous. Once again, I don't want to fully commit. I just want to make sure I stay close. It's a good try. Once again, this is the last man going for this. So, not too worried about that. Because they're trying to force the issue with 20 seconds left. But they could definitely like make a better play down the field uh, the next time. I'm going to get maybe bumped here. So I get uh, challenged very, very late there. It's a great chance for them. This guy's panicking. I'm just make them try to do something here. Ooh, I got bumped off the ball. That's okay, though. Try to bump this other guy if he jumps for it. They pop it across. It might still stay up here, though. My teammate's up. As you can see, I'm trying to stay to keep this close. That way, they, don't, they aren't uh, able to get any openings off the wall there. But great try from them to keep it up for the longest time there. But we get the first game win. A few awkward moments, but I definitely showed why hesitating is going to be a problem at the higher ranks. If you hesitate at all, they're just going to immediately pounce on you. Which is why at this rank, it's so hard to do anything but play as effectively and efficiently as possible. All right, game number two, we got Aura Chicken T-Baits. Wait. The caster? Oh, shot. <laughs> we ran into an RLCS caster. Or I guess analyst, not a caster. I'll boom that towards the net. T-Base will definitely have this. That's so funny. He's a very good player. So this is going to be a hard, tough game here. Go for the immediate challenge. It's going to be a, a dangerous spot if I don't immediately challenge that. My teammate definitely hesitated a little bit too long there as I was talking about that in the last game. Pop this off the ceiling. Should be my teammate. Decent try. Nice bump. I'll pop it up. T-Base is going to have a save for sure. It's going to be an awkward bounce or, or uh, double touch for him, but he gets it pretty well. This is a full-on SSL player, so it'll be a tough game. It's going to be a pinch into their net almost. So definitely a higher level lobby. Like I said, this is one of those situations where we're at the rank where people who were SSL are now in the games at our level, so... It's going to be tough to follow up here. Good follow up for my teammate. Good 50. Oh, I missed the ball. Oops. Yeah, off the backboard there, it's going to be really tough if I don't get a, a follow up touch to back flip into the corner. So the teammate tried to get a 50 50, but it didn't quite work out. It's over his head. My teammate's up early. And it's just in. <laughs> well played. It was a really good 50 50 from me off the kickoff. It boomed over a teammate's head and he was stuck in a spot where he had a squishy save or something. Just gonna go back corner for my teammate. Teammates might push on this, which is totally fine. 
because Danny has some space. Unfortunately, he missed the ball, though. What my teammate can turn on this. I'm going to follow this up on the side here. Go for a flick to the far side. That way I can just get the boost in the corner here. Teammates might follow it up, but good 50 for my teammate. This is a, a really fast ball off the backboard, so I'm not going to go for it again. In case uh, something goes wrong. As you can see is why I didn't go for that. Flick over one. Maybe my teammate can follow it. Good fake. Space off the side here. Move off the backboard. I got boomed off the uh, the touch, but still a good opportunity for my teammate. Try to beat him there. Looks like Danny's pretty low. Go for a, a challenge again. Just turning immediately on these balls. That way it's awkward for them to save. T-Base does a good job though in net. I'm just going to wait in mid here. Yeah, I'm not going to go on that because it's too close to the net. They both go. That's close. I'm just trying to make sure I watch and, and shadow there. Oh, good try. So he ends up touching the ball really early there. And uh, throwing the ball away. Hopefully it's my teammate back on the backboard here. So I bounce this really nicely off the curve. That way I can follow up. This will be a higher level match, like I said. We've got like a straight up SSL players in this lobby. It's going to be over me. Could be Aura Chicken again here. It's over and there's nobody ready for the, the, the shot. But unfortunately, we do get demoed. Good try on the save. Yeah, that was a good play from them to cut in mid. But my teammate didn't push through the smoke. And obviously, it's going to be hard to find that shot. If they don't immediately challenge, but this is a uh, this is going to be a really tough, really tough game here. We get another uh, follow up. Nice. I can't believe we ran into T baits. That's so funny to me. I'm going to cheat up here. Nice. Gonna be uh, aura checking with a shot, maybe. There we go. The T baits early challenge off the corner. Should be my teammate to follow. He pushes up the field as well. I'm going to wait for this touch. It's still teammate in control here. So it's high off the backboard. My teammate should have hopefully have a touch here. Which he does. Oh, I thought he was going to maybe turn on that. I can't quite go yet because my teammate's not fully covering it. Pop it to the side here. Once again, just staying close off the backboard. That way I can attack any ball that's open. My teammate is pushed up on the far side of the post. Unfortunately, he should have been close post there or near post. But unfortunately, he, yeah, he did a little circle in net there and wasn't back covering the back post or, or close post. I don't know why I'm saying close post, near post. Should be 50 from him. Oh, no, the, the hesitation. But unfortunately, uh, for teammates, it was a slow shot. Good save for my teammate. It's going to be a uh, low boost gang here. I'm going to get beat. So hopefully my teammate moves back as soon as possible. He did a really wide rotation there, though. I'll just take it across. This might be a pop off the sidewall. I don't want Danny touching this and throwing it away, but he does do that anyway. Oh, I'm not, not really a big fan of all these cuts that Danny's making, but we're going to stay close here. It's going to be teammates cutting it across. My teammate goes for the challenge, which is decent. I'm going to fake this because he's going to be on this. And T-Base might go for a shot. It's over. It's over their heads. See if Danny can finish it. Nice finish. <clears throat> so once again, we're, this is way higher level than what GC1 is supposed to be. It's kind of an awkward time to be doing a road to SSL because I feel like it's not really showing what GC1 really looks like. Because all these players are evidently much better than the, the ranks we were playing uh, previous season. I want to stay close to this. That way he has to throw it over me. Go for a shot here, maybe a bump, and we get the goal. So right there, there was a chance that the other guy, Aura Chicken, might push up for this. But uh, because he was back and my teammate was like trying to push on him, we do get an open goal. They might do a fake play here. I was trying to watch out for that. Danny has to get in the way early, which he does. Now, since he got in the way early, I'm going to go for the back corner boost. And we snuck the win in. Honestly, I'm not even sure how we won that, but 
We'll definitely take it. I think that with this series being at the new season, it's going to be a weird bit of uh, higher level gameplay than what you probably need to be playing at for this rank. But that was definitely the hardest game we've had so far in this series. Also, I don't quite think we're close uh, to uh, what we were before. Because I think we were GC2. I think we were almost GC3 uh, last season. I think it was like we were quite up there on, on MMR. So we got teammates again. We got Aura Chicken on our team this time. We have ballistics from the first game. This guy actually played pretty well. Go for a 50-50 here. And then I'm going to turn on this ball once my teammate makes a challenge here. I like that, but he's leaving it for me in an awkward spot. I can go for it now. He was trying to leave that for me to challenge, but there's no way, there's no way in heck that I am coming for that ball. Still going to be teammates here, so I'm just going to wait. This ball could be in a, a good spot. He's trying to go for a bump on me or something. And have some space. Go for a flick over the one. T Bates is last. Pass this middle. He wasn't there. Try to bump T Bates or something. There should be space for Aura Chicken though. And if he misses this, which it looks like he might not, I can go for a, a shot attempt. And it's not too dangerous because I can get out of here and also get their corner boosts. Wait for my teammate. Good challenge. I'm just gonna boom this high because Ballistics is in an awkward spot. He makes a touch, but I'm right here to catch this. I'm going to go for a 50 that's not too dangerous. That way I don't have to overcommit. And my teammate gets a really good challenge. Maybe a follow-up too here. He okay, booms it up. I'm actually going to jump up early for this and try to pop this left. See if Ballistics can uh, get in the way. Or uh, my teammate can get in the way of Ballistics here. Uh, teammate's backs off, but um, I like the back pass from my teammate. Once again, I'm just going to boom this up because he's, he's facing forwards and can't quite get it. Teammate's going to boom this away. I my teammate to catch this. He's up. going to bait one in. I have a double tap opportunity. And there we go. It's a really good follow for me. Like, that's a really good position to be going for those double tap opportunities. When my teammate pops the ball once and there's already a player committed, I know that I have a chance to... Uh, that was a really good pass play. A uh, really good chance to go for those open backboards, especially in 2v2. So I'm going to jump to make, her, make sure I get that boost. I, I taught you guys about that in the last uh, episode, where if you jump for the boost, you're just going to get it first. Like, the way he just got it there, he's over me. It's a. I know that it's, like, not obvious, like, not obvious which player got there first, like laterally but still for some reason you're more likely to be on top of the game if you uh or on top of the boost <laughs> if you're on top of the boost if that makes sense i'm gonna move back here i've got 10 boosts i'm gonna go backward for my teammate the teammates gets bumped off i'm trying to pinch this out oh my god i pinched it like crazy i'm still in the low spot here i gotta jump up as soon as possible no need for him to panic which is really smart or chicken waits back i really still think still think that all these players were probably gc3 at the least uh, last season. And I think that a lot of them are actually SSL. Is he going to beat here? I'm actually going to go for that ball. I'm just going to force him to go for a bad touch. My teammate uh, pops off the backboard nicely. Close. Pop this over one. I'm going to go for a fake here. And then try to pinch it down. Decent try. And there we go. There's a the finish. In those situations where I pop it over one player and I go for uh, this fake right here, T Bates, I'm expecting him to jump up, but he doesn't. He actually waits very pa patiently. Um, those, those positions are really good because if it forces, <laughs> oh yeah, I guess, I guess it's a bit of an awkward time in the series or the season. Cause, uh, some players here are probably not like SSL level, but 1540, if you didn't play until now in the season, like you're going to be at this rank for SSL players, but really good save here from them. But I got space off the quarter. I appreciate the compliment from my teammate. I missed the mid boost. So it was a bit, bit of a bad play. Really good pace for my teammate. I like that that dribble. I got bumped here. A little bit dangerous and a good play from them. I definitely could have pushed up on that a little bit faster uh, to be ready for it. But awkward play for my teammate. In the corner there. All right, so it's really my teammate to follow this. He ends up leaving it. I'm going to try and bump teammates if I can. He'll boom it up, but my teammate has so much space. And I like that the possession from this guy. This guy has really good dribbles, really good possession. So it does beat it. I could go up for this. I'm going to let teammates throw it away. But I definitely could have went for that. I'm going to go for immediate chip here. That way it's around him. And I'm going to go for a double here just to stay close. I end up missing it. But you can see that's that's the opportunity to go for that like uh, setup to keep the ball close off the, off the floor. My teammate's up, uh, uh, trying to make a touch or something. I'm going to fake this so teammates just throws the ball to me. And stay away. 
So I'm having to work overtime on these games because, like I said, these are not uh, GC1 players. But, you know, sort of a taste of what to expect later on. This will be really awkward for him. He can't get to this, so I just got to place this really well. Really good save from T-Base on the back end. I don't think T-Base has much boost here, so I know he can't really boom it that, that fast. I'll go for this immediately. They don't have many options, and I'm going to try and buff this guy as he comes across. And I'm saying this guy, but it's T-Base. I, I think it's so funny that we ran into him here. I could go for a shot here. I don't think anyone's back. Um, T-Base tried to follow that off the wall, and there's not really many opportunities for him to actually get a touch there because he boomed it so hard off the curve. So I just go for the turn. And I uh, can get a free shot on net because the other guy was trying, probably expecting a touch in mid from T Bates, but his first touch was poor. And uh, it's one of those things where, where like the body language of a car close to you is um is gonna be uh, confusing your teammate. Like if you're trying to make a play happen, like really trying to like push on a ball, and um, you're not able to make it, but it's like a chance that you might beat. Uh, uh, you might beat the player, so but then the other player beats you. Sorry, I'm trying to explain. It's a very confusing situation. What I'm trying to explain is sometimes not being anywhere close to the ball is better for your teammate because that way the teammate knows to go back. But the fact that teammates was trying to follow up the touch from the wall made the teammate stay out in mid. It's sort of a thing where, like, you know, trying so hard to make a play happen where it's not going to be possible for you to reach, but it looks like it's possible for the other your teammate. It might cause him to overcommit up the field like he just did. And we get a full free goal because of it. Sorry, that was a really terrible explanation, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. As always, these videos will be in a playlist for you guys if you want to watch all the videos in a row. Um, I'm not sure if I should wait a little bit for these episodes. Uh, I'm sort of delaying the episodes as much as I can. I actually split these up uh, three, four days between uh, since the last one. But let me know what you guys want, to, uh, what, what, want me to do. I might slow it down a little bit until people rank up from the SSL level uh, 1540 because we're like we're above where people start from SSL at any rank. So bit of an awkward time to play the road to SSL. Until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.